So what are embeddings? Well, before we can answer that, we need to answer what is a vector? So a vector is an arrow with a length and direction. Um, that is the simplest explanation. If you're talking to a mathematician, they're gonna have a more fancy explanation. But the reason why this matters is that a vector needs to exist in a vector space. Um, and so what is a vector space model? It represents text documents or other types of data as vectors in a high dimensional space. So right now we're uh, only looking at a, a 2D axis, but in reality, this would be in at least a 3D axis. But the idea is that we have these documents and these documents represent some form of data and they are plotted onto our, into our vector space uh, with distances between them, okay? And the thing is the distance between these other documents are going to correlate the relationship with them. So maybe these documents up here, I'm gonna get my pen out here. Maybe all these things have to do something with, um, let's say vegetables. And these ones all have something to do with, um, uh, let's say meat, and this is dairy products over here. So the way these things are organized on the, um, in the vector space is really dependent on the type of embedding you use. So what are embeddings? These are vectors of data used by ML models to find relationships between data. And you'll find that often you're gonna be using a machine learning model to create embeddings. And there's specialized um, uh, uh, machine learning models just for embedding. So you'll see something like Cohere, which is a company that produces um, or creates their own ML models. They'll have like command R, but they'll be like command R embeddings. And what it does is it takes an input and it outputs embeddings to be placed into a vector store. So different embedding algorithms capture different kinds of relationships. And so it could be, the relationship could be uh, similarity in words in terms of the way they are spelt, or it could be the length of a word, uh, or the, the relationship could be contextual, which is like, um, you know, it is the context uh, related to a specific industry or vertical. So the embedding is going to change uh, the relationship that is going to be um, projected into that vector space. And these um, ML models that produce embeddings are looking at not just like a single relationship, like let's say length of word, but multiple relationships and correlating that to put it into vector space. You can think of embeddings as external memory for performing a task for machine learning models. Embeddings can be shared across models, which uh, would give us a multi-model pattern to help coordinate a task between models. But um, yeah, there you go.